All right, what is up flippers? Welcome back to a very exciting video because today I got in my hands a package from uh, Nabali's. Uh, I remember back in like February around that time, like the beginning of this year, I left a comment on their YouTube channel and uh, it was like one of their new G10 designs and I was like, yeah, this is great and all, but the tank pins still fall out, so you guys need to ditch that. And I think I think that's actually all I said. I was like, just change it to Zen pins and this will be like a lot better basically. And they said, we're doing just that and we're adding bushings. So today I'm gonna get my first impressions on the new Nabali's, uh, yeah, Zen pin bushing channel aluminum. I, I did not know this, but um, yeah, it is channel aluminum. They didn't mention that when, uh, when they're telling me they're updating their stuff. But yeah, without further ado, let's cut right into it. All right. Classic Nibali's box here, looks like. Um, okay. Open it up here. If I could open it from the side. There we go. All right, so let's take a look what all we get in here. The bollies, an assembly thing. That's cool for beginners. That is very cool. Our vision, we are committed to designing, manufacturing, original, high cost. Oh, original, high cost, effective ballast song. Wait, let me read that again. <laughs> we are committed to designing and manufacturing original high cost, high cost effective balisong. They're missing an S there, I guess, balisongs. Uh, we welcome our customers to interact with us and share insights, joining us in this way to make more perfect and more satisfying products. So yeah, that's really cool. Uh, it actually does seem like they do care about their customers in the community. So that is really cool to see. Shout out Nabali's for that. Uh, we get a tool here, which is pretty customary, pretty standard. We got some uh, thread lock, a little bit of generic Loctite. Seems pretty standard with Amazon ballast songs. So they give you, they give you four extra washers and extra uh, hardware for the pivots, but no extra bushings. So that would be something something I would like to see in the future possibly, but maybe they don't need it. Maybe they tune it straight out of, uh, oh! <laughs> First drop. <laughs> maybe they tune it straight out of the... Uh... Okay, so it felt a little, little stiff there, but... Hmm, so no tap. Yeah, no tap. That's interesting. Um, handle shape is pretty interesting, pretty, pretty square, pretty blocky overall. You can see that on the faces here. Uh, it's like raised up a little bit, so that does help it a little bit to not feel as like sharp and square and blocky. Uh, but overall, pretty blocky feel, but that usually doesn't really um, bother me too much, so don't see that being too much of a downside. The bottom of the handles are pretty nicely rounded, like glider or uh, like a Zippy Bella song does it actually also. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and flip it. First flip. Whoa. Whoops. <laughs> so, so far I'm feeling the hardware feels very grindy. Not sure how lubed this is. It looks like not at all. Yeah, it's kind of looking like there's no lube on here at all, which is interesting. Most of the time they 
And, okay, maybe there's like a tiny bit of oil I can see in there, possibly. But yeah, it does feel very grindy in the hardware. Just first impressions, you can see it's kind of like, it's almost like slow too. So it's definitely this bite handle. I don't know if you can hear that, but I definitely hear like some friction in there. Doesn't sound too good. I guess I can kind of hear it on the safe handle also, but the bite is definitely more apparent. Okay, so these handles, pretty nice overall. It's not too bad so far. A little slippery maybe just because you know aluminum can be slippery. So that is cool. There is a bite indicator on the uh, on what would be the blade side of the trainer blade. That's really cool. Let me see how it feels for chaplains. So it seems like you don't that doesn't get in the way for chaplains. I'm not really feeling it. I don't think. Let me see. Yeah, so you don't feel it for chaplains, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't know, sometimes whenever I'm just like feeling kind of lazy and just flipping a trainer, just, you know, without thinking about it, I'd, I kind of appreciate being able to chaplain on both sides, but um, but yeah, I also appreciate the bite indicator also indicating to me when I'm Supposedly being, or you know, should have been bit by the blade, right? So like in that sense, I don't really, don't really feel the bite indicator. So that could also be a negative if you really like having that bite indicator being there to tell you when you would have been bit. Um, so yeah, this indicator is definitely more of a visual one and not like a tactical, tactile one, excuse me. <laughs> one that you'll feel while flipping, you know? Um, yeah. Hmm. Overall, pretty interesting. Um, these are listed for $75 on Amazon. However, there is a coupon, a little coupon you can uh, uh, click on. I'm not sure if it'll always be there or how long it'll be there, but uh, yeah, it's like a small little coupon, whatever thing that you, you can see down there and it'll save you $15. So you can get this right now for $60. Is it worth it for $60? Um, this is the only thing you have access to for whatever reason. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not the worst option for sure. Um, for $60, um, it does beat something like a squiddy. So if you're looking at the squiddy, um, you know, maybe this is something that would interest you. Uh, I think this is a functional bottle opener. Uh, I'll have to look at the specs again and see if this is a hardened blade because if it's not, I'm definitely not gonna be opening any bottles with it. But um, if it is, that's really cool. I might actually use this as a, as a bottle opener. Uh, if I'm like out at a friend's house or something like that and I don't have <laughs> Firefly on me because that's not really a battle song I take out with me. But this is a cool little kind of beater that you can take out with you, use as a bottle opener, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully it's a hardened blade. Um, yeah, this isn't too bad so far. The balance is like pretty good. I can fan it. Chaplains hold nicely. Uh, no jimping, but I mean for the price point who cares really like 
Yeah, this seems like a pretty solid option for 60 bucks. Um, I kind of hope that's what the regular price can always be, because having it listed for 75 is pretty, like, what's the word? Disencouraging, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, not too bad. Really cool stuff here in the valleys. I'm really, really happy that you guys are listening to community feedback and, you know, trying to improve your products and make them the best possible. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is really cool to see. Um, really glad to finally have it in my hands and get my first impressions here. Um, yeah, it's a really fun flipper. It's like, like I said, it's balanced well. Uh, the weight, I want to say it's 4.0 ounces exactly. Let's double check that. I believe that's what it says. So this one is coming in at 4.1 ounces on my scale. I think it does say 4.0 on the website, but yeah, around four ounces. It's a really nice uh, weight. The weight distribution, I mean, these, <laughs> these handles aren't tapered at all, I don't think. Yeah, these handles are completely straight, so there isn't very much like weight balancing they probably could have maybe yeah they probably could have made the blade like balance a little a little differently but honestly no complaints on the balance like i can do everything that i need or want to do <clears throat> yeah again huge shout out nabali's for um for listening to the community and bringing this awesome product to uh to us, hopefully some new flippers can uh, can get one of these, and I think this is this is kind of a, a really perfect uh, first starter bow song. Decent price, sixty dollars, not spending anything crazy, and you get a channel aluminum Zen pin bushing bow song. That is really freaking awesome. So, one last shout out to the. One last shout out to Nabali's for, uh, for yeah, listening to the community and improving their products. This is really cool. Uh, yeah, look out for some new videos. I might end up doing like a full review on this sometime soon, but I kind of have a lot on my plate right now, so it may take a while. But if you guys drop some comments down there and ask me questions and uh, you guys are, you know, curious about this, I will do an update video, so... Um, yeah, definitely drop me a comment down below. I, I do read all of them and do my best to respond to all of them as soon as possible. But, uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching flippers and, uh, hope you have a great day. See ya. All right. I wanted to include a few last things here in this unboxing. Forgot to include the the play there so not too bad not too bad definitely tuned well um, again no tap that's due to this widened channel here very nice um, the nipple is pretty um, pretty uh, smooth like chamfered and pretty low key. I think I've only pinched myself once, and that was like in a, I think like a weird aerial, aerial, or just like a weird uh, situation that, like, I haven't pinched myself in like, when I do like these ricochets near the pivots is where I'd mainly pinch myself, but haven't experienced any of that, so that's really cool. Um, and yeah, I wanted to share, this is what the old Nibali's look like. Yeah, G10, like stainless steel liners and spacers, tang pins, <laughs> kind of weird blade. Uh, yeah, for like $25, this isn't like a horrible option. It'll last you a good while, especially if you take care of it. But... For like $60, this is a great option also. I uh, wanted to do a little sound test here for you guys.
And yeah, this thing's really cool. Check it out. So yeah, this is a really cool battle song. A really, really big step up from their older models, as you can see here. Um, yeah, this is really fun. I've really been liking it. Really, like, no complaints so far. Um, you know, maybe could use some things like some jimping or maybe a better bite indicator. But that's just if you're being really picky and, you know, if you want something that really specifically fits all of your preferences and needs and stuff, then obviously you're going to want to spend more money. But for the price range, this thing is absolutely awesome. I highly recommend it. And, uh, yeah, can't wait to see, uh, if Nibali's comes out with even more cooler stuff in the future. Can't wait to see it. But yeah, that is it for this video, Flippers. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.